Section 1. It's all about you. Chapter 1. Understanding how you think. What's going on in there? Life consists of what a man is thinking of all day. Ralph Waldo Emerson. You know what you think, right? We all do. You're thinking about what you like or don't like, and what you want or don't want. You also probably think of what you wish you wanted less of, like gorging on chocolate ice cream, TV, web surfing, shopping, drinking, or working. In fact, when anyone talks about thinking, they talk about what they're thinking about. They don't talk about how we go about thinking those thoughts. What you'll learn from this book is how you go about forming your thoughts, the effect that has on you and on others, and how to change it to better suit you. The understanding you'll gain here is largely based on neuro-linguistic programming, which is commonly referred to as NLP. NLP is based on the theory that all human thinking occurs in pictures, sounds, feelings, smells, and or taste, the five senses. No one has yet ever effectively challenged this theory by giving me an example of a thought that isn't expressed in some combination of words, pictures, smells, tastes, or feelings. Can you do that? Right now, try having a thought that's not an image, sound, feeling, smell, or taste. Just kind of makes your brain stop for a minute, doesn't it? After you have a thought, you have a response. Maybe it's a funny feeling, followed by a comment like, this guy is nuts, or some other internal dialogue, picture, or feeling. All and each of us operate this way, and yet each of us is distinctively different in the exact thought patterns we have created as a result of our sensory-based thinking. We all live inside our self-created minds. Our unique reality is a result of our individual biology and the influence of our individual, mostly random, personal history. Understanding that we all live in and operate from a personal model of reality is the key to making our lives better serve us. By understanding this, you can truly understand yourself and other people how you and they do the sometimes strange and sometimes pleasing things people do. You can figure out how to give yourself more of what you do want and less of what you don't. Most important, you're going to find out how to assess what you really want and how to know that it's really right for you. In this book, you'll be introduced to processes you can easily put to use right away to give you relief from what you don't want and more satisfaction with what you do want. An inner picture or sound can truly be a resource. Rather than just talk about how this is true, let's play with this concept by doing a process together. Having a little experience with this concept now will give you an understanding of how valuable this book can be for you. The approach you're going to learn is especially useful anytime you want to have a greater sense of comfort and ease when you are doing something you need to do.